Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Forza 6. We're still in our electric vehicles. Electric vehicles. Silent. Deadly. Look at that. There's like a little floating woman on the front of my car. Did you see that? Look at that. To the left. Holly. It's like a floating lady. A floating lady Holly. Um, do you guys see what I got in the mod slots right there? Powertrain engineer, super rare 10% process. However, perfectionist. Simulation damage on and rewinds off. Hit the objective to earn 50% credits. We're at Daytona. So, uh, why not? Let's use this. Let's not go crazy. Let's not, let's not crash into anybody. That would be a bad thing. Oh, listen to that engine roar. <laughs> oh, easy now. Okay. So, six laps of Daytona. This should be interesting. Um, there are corners in this. It's not just turning left. I'm very, very scared to hit anybody. Very scared. Already I hit somebody. Okay, we're going to try to only pass when we need to. Or when we can, I should say. Not when we need to. We need to pass at every point in this race. Perfect turn. We passed a few cars there. And we're not hitting anybody. Okay. Alright, let's get back on the track. That would be helpful. We are in 14th place. Not a good start. But then again, we do have six laps to work with. Uh, don't hit anybody. Oh, I hit somebody. Oh, I, I'm hitting more people. This is not good. Simulation damage is on. And um, my racing skills are off. Oh, God. What if they hit me? That wouldn't, that wouldn't be fair at all. Oh, come on. Go, go, go. We're in 11th. We're moving up. Oh, okay. This is good. I think the end of the first lap is near. No, it's not. We still have this giant bank to take on. We like to take on the big banks. <laughs> that was a weird lap. Come on! Ah, just draft somebody. Here we go. Here we go. Passing this guy. We're now in 10th. Passing this guy. We're now in 9th. We are right on this guy's buttocks. There we go. Oh, God. Why won't he... Why do he keep blocking me? Stop blocking me, you jerk. I'm going to try to draft him again. Here's the second lap. Okay, now we got to be careful here. Okay, not bad. Uh... Oh, be careful there. Perfect turn. Nice. Breaking. Ooh, easy. A lot of wheel spin. As I try my best to avoid contact of any sort. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, that's bad. That is bad. I feel like that is bad. Uh-oh. No, car still seems okay. Car still seems okay. Maybe it takes a lot. I thought it was drifting to the right there, but it's not. Trying to get on the inside here. Nicely done. Oh, I tapped him again. We're in fifth. Biteable graph. Amazing. Duh. What are you doing? Simulation damage is on, guy. Oh, goodness. I caught a rut or something. Anyway, we're in fourth. We're, we're going to be in third. We're going to be in third. This is where we want to be. Look at the first and second place, guys. Redonkulous. Okay, third lap. Nico's apprentice. Hey, my cousin. Oh, that's not Nico. Ni it is Nico, right? Nico Belich? From uh, the old Grand Theft Auto game? I don't know which one it is. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm right about that. Wow, my memory. I have a really bad memory, by the way. 
Int Actually, I shouldn't say I have a really bad memory. I'm bad with remembering names of people and faces. Yep. I think I may have told this story once, but when I was working at Loblaws, which is, uh, I'm, I'm, most of you know what Loblaws is, I guess, but it's like a grocery store. Uh, a really high-end grocery store, anyway. Uh, well, I mean, high, more high-end than, than average. Anyway, when I was working at Loblaws, uh, people would come to me and they'd ask me for certain items that we didn't have out front, but we may have possibly had in the back. So I would go back there and check, and believe it or not, I actually did check. I didn't just go to the back and automatically assume we didn't have it and then come out a few seconds later and tell the customer, yeah, we don't have it. I actually checked because it's true. We had some stuff in the back that hadn't gone out yet. So people would go to the back or, no, sorry, people would ask me, and I'd go to the back, and then I'd come back out with the, with the product that the person wanted, and I had no idea who asked me for it. Absolutely no clue. Most of the time, I'd get lucky and they'd be standing there waiting for me, but sometimes they start to wander off and start like, you know, looking at other things in the department. I worked in the meat department, by the way. Hmm? Meat department? Finish B? That's part of where the name came from. Anyway, yeah, um, I'd walk out and if they were looking at something else on the counter and there was more than one customer there, I'd have no clue who asked me for it. And then what would happen is, uh, I would sort of just announce, I found what you're looking for, like really sort of in a louder voice, and then the first person to look up, I'd give it to. And there's been occasions where the person looked up and then I handed him the product and he was really confused. It was, it was a couple, both occasions was a man. And, uh, and he's like, oh, why are you giving me this? And then the guy who actually asked for it comes up behind and he's like, oh, that was for me. And then they both look at me weird like, uh, how did you make that mistake? But I, I did. I made that mistake. I'm sorry. Believe it or not, that happened. I think, I don't know if it was so much being bad with remembering faces as, as much as it was not really looking at the person who asked me for the product. So I just, like, I'd be down, my head down doing my work. And then in a, a disembodied voice. Well, I mean, the voice had a body, but to me, it might have—it might as well have been disembodied because I never looked up for my work. I just hear the question, "Hey, do you have this?" And I'll be like, "Oh, go check. I'll be right back." And I come back, and all I know it was a man's voice. I didn't know who, who um, actually requested it. So yeah, stories of grocery store working at grocery stores. I'm sure we all have them. I feel like grocery stores and McDonald's are like jobs that 90% of people in North America have had. And I worked at that grocery store for a while. From like the time I was 18 to, uh, I'm trying to remember. I guess it wasn't too long. It was part-time too, so it wasn't full-time. I was just a part-timer. I guess maybe to 24, so six years. Cause I remember still going there while I was in school. In fact, oh man, this, this story time today. Um, the very first year of university, I went to the University of Windsor and my job was in Toronto. It was a three-hour train ride, so obviously I couldn't work any sort of shift. But they still kept me on somehow. And so when I would come back for the summer, or when I came back for the summer, I still had a job, and I continued working there. So, yeah, that was something that happened. All right, out we go. We're... Oh, wow. The first and second place guys are about to lap last place guy oh man easy easy we're still doing simulated damage it's a good thing there's absolutely nobody near us kind of there are people behind us pretty close behind break oh i'm excited ah no i'm excited to see what the next uh race brings we only have two races remaining this one and another one Why am I slipping so much all of a sudden? Hmm, never mind. We're doing pretty good though. Third place. We've only crashed a couple, or we only made contact a couple times, and I don't think we damaged ourselves at all. Of course, the no rewinds part is useless because I don't play with rewinds on anyway. And I have seen comments again about stepping up the difficulty. You guys are nuts. Do you realize? How many times I'd have to redo a race 
especially with I mean I would I would be fine with stepping up the difficulty if I could turn rewinds back on but I know you guys don't want that rewinds would be rough because I'd be rewinding every corner because every corner would be bad but that may not necessarily be true either way I like where we're at now so we're keeping it like this unless something drastically changes wow somebody hit the tires here I can use some tires for my winter vehicle and my summer vehicle actually <laughs> yeah pretty much bald running on slicks with that one break there's all kinds of balloons being set off Glenn <laughs> walking dead reference spoiler alert if you haven't watched the latest walking dead there are balloons in it just spoil it for you. There are balloons in it. Balloons are involved. Whoa! Okay. Oh, by the way, congratulations, guys. You are now members, the people watching this video, members of the lowest viewed series on my channel. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad because Fours is so much fun, but yeah, the views aren't good. The views aren't good for this series. Tomb Raider's, well, Tomb Raider just started. It's been getting decent views. Uh, Fallout's been getting really good views, and I'm doing that one daily and, like, long episodes. And man, am I hooked on Fallout. I am hooked on it. Like, all I want to do is play Fallout. And it's kind of weird when you record a game, you kind of don't want to play too much off camera. So I have to, like, temper myself. Make sure I don't get too far ahead from video to video. I can't believe I didn't catch these guys. We raced a pretty decent race. And we did not catch them at all. Doesn't matter. We got third, and that's all that counts. It's a motto in life. Third place, all that counts. Uh, 6,500 extra credits. Driver level goes up. Affinity level goes up. You won 4,000 credits. One race remaining. Let's do it. Let's finish off this race series. will be at the Circuit of the Americas with its signature 251-foot observation tower. On to the next race. We're uh, we're here at Sebring. Um, we're using the powertrain engineer card. We're using back of the pack card. Hey, why'd you disappear on me? And driver expertise, 60% driver level XP. Starting in 24th grid position, hit the objective to earn 30% extra credits. Let's do this. We're starting in 24th. Starting in 24th. Now this Sebring, Sebring was the site of the Forza, the Forza fuel challenge for Forza 6. And it's a really pretty track. Granted, I haven't been to many tracks, especially big, important tracks like this. I've been to small race tracks across Ontario. Like, I don't even know. I don't even want to say because maybe they might be really, really weak sauce. Uh, Toronto Motorsports Park. Um, the track at St. Thomas. I don't know what the actual name of the track is. I don't know if it's St. Thomas track or is that Toronto Motorsports Park? I've been to the one in Cayuga, Ontario, and I've been to, I think that's Toronto Motorsports Park, and I've been to the one in St. Thomas, and probably a couple others that I can't remember right now. Um, and then I've been, whoa, I've been to this one. Oh, easy guys, easy guys. I'm sorry, that was there was glass in that collision. I don't even think we have glass on our vehicles. That's kind of weird. Look at that, look at that, drifting around the corner like a champion. Turn. A lot of wheel spin, man. A lot of wheels. Oh, God, that hurt. Well, we moved up to 11. Really, 11th, really, really aggressively already. And uh, we're about to pass this guy because for some reason they braked around that corner. Perfect turn. Out we go. Easy on the gas and then slam it. We're up to 8th already. Four laps around this track. The thing I remember most about this track is that first, like, right after the starting grid or the finish line, whatever you want to call it, that first uphill, it's, like, really uphill. It's, like, really uphill. It's not in the game. Whoa! This is trouble. This is trouble. This is trouble. Okay, easy, 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 easy. Let's get back in the race here. We're not. This is not good. This is not good. Uh, that first uphill is so high up. Oh, man. What is going on? 
Did I lose my grip card? I'm still using the grip card. Grip and power. It's not really working out very well right now. Let's take it easy. Let's take it easy. I think I'm, I'm like reverting back to the very first time I raced with this electric vehicle. It doesn't seem like you're going very fast. And so I take chances that don't need to be taken like that. See, I should have let up on that, but I didn't. Nice and smooth through there. Go back up to 11th place, please. Nice. Okay, second lap is coming up. See, look, this first uphill. I mean, yeah, in the game it does kind of look pretty, pretty intense too. But in real life, man, is it ever intense. Whoa. And the downhill, I don't remember it being a big deal in real life. You'd figure you go up that high, and then when you come down, it's pretty crazy. Wow, that was pretty reckless of me, but I made it. I made it through. Look at this. I've gotten into a groove. Call me the Emperor, because I got my groove back. So, guys, yeah, you guys are part of the lowest, like, the, the, the lowest viewed series club, so... Show it some support, please. Click the like button. I always feel dirty telling people to click the like button, but I should not feel dirty. You guys should feel dirty, well, those of you who don't click it, for not clicking it. I understand, I understand if you're not maybe signed in to your YouTube account, or maybe you don't even have a YouTube account, in which case I would ask you, why not? It's free, just do it. Um, But those of you who are signed in to your YouTube account, view the series regularly, and don't click the like button, seriously? It takes like one click, a tenth of a second to do. I'm very disappointed in you guys. Of course, there's always the, um, whoa, okay, easy. There's always the uh, possibility to just forget, which is the case. I mean, I sometimes, I sometimes watch uh, videos and I forget to click the like button, but I actually go back and click it when I remember that I forgot. <laughs> when I remember that I forgot. Um, yeah. I haven't liked, I haven't watched a lot of videos lately, so I haven't liked a lot of videos either. I really haven't watched much in terms of YouTube because I've been so busy making videos. I think the only thing I've been watching regularly is like um, Kurt's Farlands or Bust. You guys, I'm sure, are familiar with Kurt if you're here on my channel watching a racing game because I played F1 with him. He found somebody else to play F1 with. I'm so sad about that. I'm so sad. He dumped me. Kurt dumped me. I'm just kidding. He didn't dump me. It's fine. I, I have forgiven Kurt already. We're in eighth place. I am finding it very, very difficult. I don't know if I'm going to catch the guys up there in, uh, what is that? First, second, third, and fourth. I think the first and second guys are, like, right on top of each other. That's why it looks like one ball. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Although, I do make up a lot of time. Oh, my gosh. Um, like, through here. While these guys are slowing down, I'm just powering through. Oh, goodness. Okay, that was not really intentional. But I did it. I'm in fifth now. Now the quest begins to catch those other guys, which uh, they got a little bit of a lead on me. They got a little bit of a lead. Oh, no. Go, go. Oh, this is bad. I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to finish this race or not finish it. I mean, finish third. Or better this is bad I've got two lap well a lap and a half pretty much to do it hey go go oh I see a car on the horizon man they are so fast on the straightaway that's gonna be tough there they are look all four of them just made that corner and there's this guy who just passed me. He's about to get wrecked. I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't see it happening. Even with those corners that I, like, accelerate through. Come 
on. He's, they're right there. The problem is they look closer than they actually are because they're taking these corners. And then when they get in the straight, they just pull away. Okay. Okay. I'm catching this guy, which means I should probably be catching the other guys, right? Is that how it works? Unless, the, unless this guy's racing really, really slowly. Look, there! They, oh, there's a car right there. I still don't need to pass that guy. I got to pass the guy in front of him. Actually, no, I got to pass this other guy in front. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Come on, come on, come on. Final lap coming up. Let's draft him. Draft, draft, draft. Am I close enough to draft? Yes, I know I'm not. Mitch875, I beat him. Suck it, Mitch. Perfect draft. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, down we go. Here we go. Here's a series of corners where I can accelerate right through. This is going to be crucial. Critical, even. Oh, no. Oh, thought I was going to crash into him. I did, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. Hey, there he is. There he is. That's not the guy I need to pass, though. I need to pass the guy in front of him. Oh, go. Oh, there's no way. There's no way. Look at how far ahead they are. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Buy double graph. Move out of my way, please. Out of my way, out of my way, out of my way. I'm going to draft you, and I'm going to pass you, and now you should just shut up and leave me alone. There's those guys way up there. This is going to be real close. Buy double graph. What are you doing? You were trying to ruin my day. That was bad. Hey, break. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's it. It's official. There's no way I'll catch them now. Yeah, and the finish line is just around the corner. I'm going to have to redo this race. I'll only show you guys once I'm done, though. Sorry. Sorry. Look, this is the final corner. Oh, I was so close. I think maybe if I hadn't screwed up that, that corner just now, I may have been able to catch them. Nee! I'm still going to finish it like a champion. Fourth place. I'm proud of my accomplishments. All right, let's, re let's redo this race. What do I win? Give me some stuff. Yep, I got a spin at least. Let's do a million credits, million credits, million credits, million credits. 25,000 credits. Crew and dare pack. Okay. Thanks. You guys are amazing. Let's skip this. Want another 4,500 credits for that. All right, restart. There we go. Look at that. It's amazing what I can accomplish when I don't have to worry about talking to you people while I race. That sounded really hostile. I don't mean it like that. Uh, but yeah, I got first place. I still use that, that card where I start from last... Um, nothing changed. I didn't have rewinds on. I didn't lower the difficulty, anything like that, but I got first place. I even spun out, completely spun out, 360 degrees in this track, and I still finished first place. Look at that. Back of the pack, super rare, 3,900 credits. Another 4,750. Okay, we did it. We finished the series. Now what? What is in store for us? Okay, continue. You've completed the professional racing volume. Ooh. Now you will have to push your reflexes to the limit. The final stage in your career is the ultimate in motorsport, racing the fastest cars in history on the most advanced circuits in the world. Oh, this sounds like it's going to be fun. 